Business is full of ups and downs, so it helps to have a flexible way to pay. Try Business Essentials from O2 Business, the most flexible business tariff around. Hey guys, you're watching BTEC, Basil here, comparing the Microsoft Lumia 950 XL with the HP Elite X3. The Elite X3 is an absolute behemoth. It's got an 820 processor, four gigabytes of RAM. It's rigid, it's robust, it's IP67 waterproof. Yeah, what's not to love? Or compare that to the Lumia 950, which isn't IP67 waterproof, but it is the most powerful Windows phone currently on the market until this one lands. You can see design-wise they're quite different, um, less boxy. The HP Elite X3 just fits a little bit kind of more roundedly around the sides in the hand. Um, it has wireless charging as well, which is great. Um, and you have that 4150 milliamp battery under the hood. As for the Microsoft Lumia 950 XL, it's a much, much boxier device. Real Lumia design heritage there. You've got a 20 megapixel snap around the back, no less than three flashes. The 950 XL was a bit of a disappointment design-wise. And while the HP Elite X3 is no style queen, um, it definitely, for the six inch center stage display, um, grabs all the attention here. That front firing speaker is powered by B&O. You've got an eight megapixel front camera, right hand side power button, two volume buttons. Down at the base, it's a USB type C connector. This is gonna um, output to a continuum dock just like the 950 XL did. That feature gave the 950 XL our smartphone of the year, award, business phone of the year, sorry. Left hand side, you've got a volume rocker. Um, actually, you don't, you have what looks like a slot, which we can actually, is it a volume rocker or a slot? Yeah, it's a slot. Um, so that will probably be where the SD card fits in. Up to the top, 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, while around the back, that camera, um, like I said, 16 megapixels plus flash, wireless charging supported. The Lumia 950, like I said, boxy device, but what you do have, which you don't have on the Elite X3, is a physical camera button. It's a two-stage camera button to power up that optical image stabilized uh, 20 megapixel snapper. Um, the UI of both is Windows 10. That's left-hand side start menu. Right-hand side, you've got all your applications. Windows 10 is a beautiful user interface in a lot of respects. You can minimize to get a full screen experience, that navigation bar at the bottom. You can also swipe down from the top for your notifications and um, your quick toggles as well. What you end up with also is an operating system that hasn't got the stack of apps you've got on Android and iOS. Now, if you take a look at productivity apps, it's a different story because you've got Office 365, which works beautifully well on here and on the Continuum dock too. So definitely for a business trying to kit out their workforce with waterproof, water-resistant devices, um, packing 64 gig of internal memory, micro SD card expandability, and battery for days, this could well be the champion here. Like I said, that 820 processor is the most powerful on the market, four gig RAM, you will have no trouble. It's an alpha build of the software, so it's not gonna be performed too fantastically, but definitely these will be the two powerhouses of the Windows 10 world. We've taken a look at the Acer Jade Primo, not quite so well spec, but a little bit smaller, a little bit more manageable, and also supports that continuum output. Um, a little bit closer to launch, that will launch at 599 euros, I believe. If you've got any questions about either of these, phones or, and want us to ask HP anything about the Elite X3, just fire them in the comments section below. Like this video, then click like and subscribe to the channel for more information. Thanks for watching.